Well, for the fourth time in fewer than two years, one local school district is asking voters to pass an operating levy. John Monk tonight with the details and also explains why school leaders say it's an emergency at this point. Genoa area local schools are once again asking for voter assistance. The school board recently approved a $1.3 million emergency operating levy for the upcoming May ballot. Emergency levies don't have millages, but Superintendent Michael Ferguson said it would be comparable to about six mills. Voters turned down a 5.25 mill levy last November and two similar levies before then. The state basically is providing about half of our yearly revenue uh, we do get a couple percentage points from the feds, uh, but the rest of it's, they've basically given us that and said the rest comes from your voters, figure it out. Now, along with deciding on that emergency operating levy, Genoa voters also have a second levy to decide on, the renewal of a technology levy first approved back in 2017. The replacement technology levy would adjust the millage based on 2022 property evaluations. And in a world of remote learning, smaller and rural school districts like Genoa's are finding it incredibly important to offer the latest technology to their students. We can't afford to go backwards uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, our kids deserve to be uh, up to speed on what's happening in the world as far as technology goes. And so we have to move forward with this. If approved on May 3rd, the school district would not be able to collect the funding from these two levies until 2023. Reporting in Genoa, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.